Hello and welcome to this edition of Going Public. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it very much. And listen, there are very few people anywhere that know more about Morganza to the Gulf and levees than the three people I have with us today. Very excited to have Tony Alford, president of the Terrebonne Levy and Conservation District. Tony, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us, Keith. All right, we appreciate it. Sitting next to him, who's been there longer, I've just been yes. informed, uh, Angela Hidalgo, uh, who is an MP, MBA, chief financial officer and executive secretary of the Terrebonne Levy and Conservation District. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having us. All right, next to her, Mr. Mitch Mor uh, Mormon, our program manager of Morganza to the Golf Project and the Delta Coast Consultants. Mitch, welcome back to the program. Thank Thank you for having us. Kim. All right, guys, we appreciate it. I know you guys do so many different things. I know we want to give some updates, and we got a little PowerPoint that we're going to go through. We'll let y'all walk us through that and just kind of see what kind of updates. And Mitch, I don't know if you want to introduce anything as we get going. Yeah, we just uh, we kind of wanted to come out and and give a little long range plan of, of what we're working on now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the last. Several times we've been here has been anticipation of the Corps finally getting funded and now we can talk about things that they're actually doing and construction projects on the ground. We have one. Uh, and so we just felt like it was necessary to update the public so that they do know uh, what's going on and what the future and, and where we're headed with Morganza right now. So. Right, and I know we've talked about it all the time about funding and where we are with the funding, but but now, like you said, boots on the ground. There, there's some work being done, and we can share some of that information. And, and the great part about it is we're, we're still doing the same thing that we were doing before. Right. The core is just adding to that effort, So, uh, and we need it, right? I mean, right. We, we've been through, spent nearly a billion dollars already, and so it's time to have that federal interest, but it's here and it's pretty exciting. So, And we say that so cavalier, like we've spent nearly a billion dollars already. Right? Just remarkable for mm -hmm. the people in our area who have decided to support this and fund this and, and ask for money and being able to get it. Now we have the core doing that with us. Yeah, so we can start rolling through and each one of us can, can, can talk about, you know, the long range planning and what's going on. Okay. Uh, you know, under the direction of the board and Mr. Alford, uh, we've been tasked, you know, originally we built 10 to 12 foot levees across the parish and right now we're trying to lift those to 15 feet. So, right. um, you know, this is just a generic uh, Morganza map. Um, you know, I guess the only thing really uh, to note is, is you know, we're, we're pretty much, after the core finishes Reach A, we're pretty much from intercoastal to intercoastal uh, on the system, which is pretty unbelievable. That's, you know? that's remarkable. Um, I mean, you know, that's probably close to 100 miles. 100 miles. Yeah. Fifteen. You know, you look, Keith, you look at all these projects, you know, all these squares, pump stations and floodgates, and, you know, the Corps, when they come in from Washington, you know, Gordy usually does a pretty damn good job of, of putting these projects on, you know, set up around the Civic Center. Right. And they come in, they're floored that we've done all these projects without the core right of course with the core's blessing right um that we've done all these projects without them so yeah that's pretty pretty yeah. neat and and again that's one of, of those stuff. things that i, I kind of mentioned to you guys yeah. about all the time just kind of the excitement and joy that we have in what morganza to the gulf has represented as state of the art and things that people are looking at all over the country yeah. about how to do it better in their areas Sure. About, about how to do a federal project in today's time. I mean, it's, right. it's the example, you know. Right. Uh, it's very difficult. Okay, so, next slide, Jen, thanks. Yeah, so one of the things, uh, one of the first levy reaches we uh, let for bid to uh, lift is Reach E, mm -hmm. and this is along Falgo Canal Road, and, and uh, it's something, uh, you know, the district prioritized because of the, the open water that's next to that system and mm -hmm. its vulnerability. Um, you know, in the meantime, I mean, we're still working on lower due large and lifting all of those levees, mm -hmm. um, which we should have relatively 12 foot of protection in place uh, by the end of the summer. So, wow, um, that's pretty impressive. So, <laughs> yeah. that's one. Go ahead. That's, and, Miss, just to chime in, I mean, that, that's a, I think that's a, that was a great endeavor that we took on. You know, the, the original alignment w was set up by the court to actually cut lower do large that line was going across that little red line you see mm -hmm. right there that's lower do large right and so instead of cutting out i think there's 400 and something residents mm -hmm. right down lower do large instead of cutting them out 
What we decided to do was build up the levees on both sides to try to get it up to the same height and the, and the same size as the levees that were in the alignment. And that way, you know, we're, we're including Lord Do Large in this, in this system, which and, is a great move. I right. Think, and, and so so very often when we hear people in lower lying areas, yeah. y'all are protecting people in the lower lying areas as well. Right. Mm -hmm. That's remarkable. Yeah. Right. Sure. So uh, on the next slide, we uh, we did uh, award two of the segments to onshore for right around six million dollars. Um, that is going to be funded from the state. So CPRA has been a tremendous partner, obviously, in helping us spend that billion dollars, uh, and that should be uh, underway very soon. And then segment three will be coming next in about four point seven million, also funded with current year state capital alley dollars. And so that's what we were talking about earlier. We're continuing to to do our own lifts in-house in, in addition to that federal work. So, I mean, this is an example of that going on. Right. Those two projects where we see both sides, the national funds and, and the funds that we've right. kind of put in place. That's Very good. Exactly right. And that's that update. So this, the next, quickly, this is uh, something that the Corps is, is designing right now, and that's lifting uh, Reach F from the Bubba Dove floodgate all the way back to Fowl Canal Road. Wow. Um, and that that is going to be ready for construction next year. So, um, you know, that's about four and a half miles of levee. That's probably at about 11 and a half right now. Right. Uh, so we're hoping that we'll get that up, uh, you know, to 16, 17 foot with this, with this lift. Oh my gosh. Um, and, and so uh, it'll, take, it'll take another lift to get to the final Morganza level, but right. uh, anyway, that, that, that's great progress that we're making on the federal side. Wow. And, and just, you know, again, people need to realize four and a half miles of levee to raise that. It takes time and we've got to you got to put stuff in. You got to let it settle. Mm -hmm. And that just takes time. And, well, and that's oh, having yeah. everybody in there to work on that. Go ahead, Mitch. Part of this is an island. So we actually have to barge material. There. Right. So, I mean, wow. Super difficult. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. And we can keep going. OK. Um, it's just a summary. Um, OK. So, you know, hopefully 16 foot, like I said, we can get to that. And you can go to the next slide. Um, In-house right now, we're, we're, uh, the green dot at the bottom of the screen is the agency lot complex, which hopefully within the next two, three, four weeks, we'll have advertising for construction, okay. uh, which that'll be around a $300 million project. Uh, and then we will also lift, we have lifted reach D1 to 13 feet, but we'll go, go ahead and lift it to 15, coinciding with the construction on the lot complex as well. And Keith, that, that lock yeah. is going to be so great for, you know, of course, Gordy did some in-house things in Chauvin and Montague. You right. know, we have little lock systems there, but, uh, you know, how, anytime you get a south wind, it's still in Dularge and Grand Caillou and even Pornishan, parts of Pornishan get high water everywhere, and this lock system is going to stop the salt water. Mm. It's going to be, talk about the linchpin of a system. It's gonna it's gonna keep the salt water from killing everything. You go along that navigational canal, you start looking at all the dead cypress trees, right? right. And 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 this will stop the salt water and and allow all that to come back and be fresh and 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 spread the fresh water throughout all the tributaries within the system. Yeah, because it's preventing that salt water from coming in, and it's allowing that fresh water to really right. continue to right. really. Uh, help growth in that area and bring things back to life. Keep uh, water out of people's yards. Yes. Especially that salt water. Yeah, it was originally, uh, the, the lock was thought about to protect the, the drinking water in Homa mm -hmm. from the south treatment plant. So that's how long, and you know, this has been in the works. Which I mean, has been like the, the early 80s uh, or so? I mean, it, it's good 20, 20 years plus. Right, right, right. You know? wow. We didn't, see, we didn't think we'd live long enough to see this happen. Of course, Restore Act dollars, right. BP spill money, right. is paying 100% of this project. Wow. And so that's great. You know, yes. Everybody bashes the oil companies, but that's from BP mm -hmm. is the reason that we'll be able to build this project. Right. And, and you know, most dollars. of our restoration money comes from the oil companies. Right. You know? Right. Uh, people don't people don't know that. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, most of it, the, the trust fund money is, is, you know, taxes on oil companies. So uh, most of our coastal restoration work has been done through that. You know, Tony's yeah. dead on in mm -hmm. saying that. Yeah. Um, right. Want to look at G? Yeah, we can look at G. Okay. Um, so I talked about G1. We can go to the next slide. Uh, we're we're currently going. We're about to take uh, bids on G2C to lift okay. it right now. I think next week. Okay. We'll have uh, we'll receive bids to lift it to 15 feet. 
Uh, and again, this whole area is identified because it's the southern portion of Morganza. Uh, you know, it's this area has traditionally, uh, you know, been inundated in storms in the past. Uh, and so we're doing everything we can to, to give the most amount of protection. Uh, okay, John. In addition yeah. to that, so so the, the floodgate down there, Petit Caillou floodgate, we're putting more flap gates in the walls as well as even the, the, the roller gate. We're planning on doing something there so that, you know, as, you know, one the last storm, but we'll probably never see it again. But right. we Hopefully. need to make improvements in case that Lake Boudreau ends up moving in the corner of this project like it did right. you know, for, for Ida. That's exactly and, and right. And Zeta did the same thing. So right. we're trying to make improvements to take care of those problems and not have those people have water in their houses as well. Well, and, and you know, it's, it's, a good, it's a good idea to be able to look at this strategic plan and just kind of see the, not only what's happening, but the additional reasons for why. Yeah. Here's what we learned. Right. As we were going through this project, we, you know, Ida hits and, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, same thing that happened with Zeta. Right. We need to do some additional yeah. things to, to do that. And again, it's learning as we go yeah. and having the monies to be able to do that is so very we, incredible. We, we, all, we always say there's no owner's manual that comes with this project, right? right? It's the first of its kind. Yeah. And you do have to learn from yeah. it, though. And, and people are learning from us, which yeah. is the really good thing. Sure. So we're going to have to take a short break, if that's all right. We're going to sure. come right back. We appreciate it. All right, guys, you do that with us. We're going to take a break here from going public. We'll be right back with a whole lot more updates and information about all of the things that have been happening with Morganza to the Gulf and more. We'll be right back. In South Louisiana, storms are a way of life. Every storm poses a different threat, whether from flooding or hurricane force winds. At All South Consulting Engineers, we help protect our people from these disasters. Before a storm, we work with our leaders to prevent catastrophic damage. After the storm, we help get the resources needed for rebuilding. We have helped our cities, parishes, and school boards recover over $2 billion to rebuild our community. We'll be here for the next one. Delta Coast Consultants is a full-service professional engineering and surveying firm providing planning, design, and management on a variety of projects. We specialize in flood protection, coastal restoration, marine construction, and municipal infrastructure. We also provide design and surveying services for residential and commercial developments. We are proud of our role in the Morganza to the Gulf Hurricane Protection Project, providing program management services to the Terrebonne Levee and Conservation District. Visit our website at deltacoastllc.com or call us at 985-655-3100. Sea Level Construction is a heavy civil contractor that provides turnkey services for the industrial and marine industries. From building large-scale infrastructure to installing the foundation for expansion projects, Sea Level and its family of companies offer a wide range of capabilities including driven piles, drilled deep foundations, structural fabrication, structural concrete, marine construction, barge maintenance and repair, site work development, heavy equipment repair services, and electrical services. Call Sea Level Construction to set the foundations for your next big project. A new company with a lot of history. GIS Engineering has rapidly grown its brand around an experienced team of professionals. GIS Engineering is a full-service planning, engineering, procurement, and construction management company specializing in coastal protection and restoration, upstream and downstream industrial, and transportation infrastructure projects. Putting people first, GIS Engineering, a new company with a lot of history. Hello and welcome back to this edition of Going Public. Your host, Keith Weissach, thank you so much for joining us as I get to learn about this, this monstrosity of a Morganza to the Gulf project that's been years and years in the making, over a billion dollars spent, and now so much more money coming in now that the Army Corps of Engineers is joining in, and the people that have been making that happen, uh, Tony Alford, Angela Hidalgo, Mitch Mormon, thank y'all and welcome back to the program as, as we talk about this plan as we're going. Uh, and so again, people just come from when we say miles around, there are people that come nationally to come and find out how this is going and how did you do it? And it's been years and years of planning, dedication, and getting the money in. And now we get to talk about some of these things coming to fruition. So uh, let's, uh, let's move forward with that. I think we want to talk about uh, where we are with uh, H1 Levy Lift. 
Um, Reach H1 Levy Lift is a small section on the uh, west side of Highway 56. Right after Hurricane Ida, we did a emergency contract. FEMA paid for it, okay. about $1.4 million. And then we decided to go, and that was to a 13 feet. But then in after Ida, of course, we wanted to lift everything to 15 feet. So we issued a change order for the extra two feet. And that's currently underway. And that was about another 800 million, I mean, $800,000. So wow. that's all going to be done relatively soon. And it's in work is almost complete. And again, we, we talk about this, I hate to say it, we talk about it rather cavalier, but levees to greater than 15 feet is remarkable. I think we'd ever get there. No, I mean, we, we, we started talking about this as 8 to 10, and, yeah. and you know, boy, if we could get 10 feet, that'd be great. And then it was like, boy, if we could get to 12 feet, that would, and now we're just saying, you know what, 12's not good enough. 13's not good enough. We, we want them all to be at 15. Yeah. And so it's just so nice that we have found the way to pay for and get monies for being able to do that. And FEMA's you know? helping us a lot with this section. They're helping us a lot with other sections of the state's helping us a lot too. So, Very good, yeah. yeah. And again, that's, that's kind of how that's happening um, as well. So I don't know if you want to go through that as well um, with that funding. Um, yeah, so the total for the project is $2.3 million, and we're getting that uh, mostly from FEMA. It'll take a little while for them to reimburse us, but we're able to pay for it and then get reimbursed later. So that's how we're able to get all that lifted to 15 feet uh, wow. in that area. And again, like you mentioned, originally that, that 1.5 and then asking for another 870000 or so to say, look, we, we, we got to get it to 15. The goal is 15 feet. And, and that's then that's where we want to be. Well, you know, Keith, just to, I hate to point this out, but... You know, that Ida storm surge, you know, it hit over there in Lafourche with 16 foot storm surge. Yeah. Okay. So we were real fortunate that we, that, that, that the surge didn't hit us. Right. And just a little bit further over, it would have. So, you know, we're building this thing at a rapid pace with that in mind. Mm -hmm. You know, next hurricane season's coming and then the one after that. And how much can we accomplish before this next one? And how much before the next one so that we can, you know, we can get this thing up. Right. And, and, and be ready for something like that to happen. Right. right? It, it, if an Ida came right. and we had the storm surge like they did in that's Lafourche. Right. I mean, it was close in South Lafourche. So, right. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, and that's been around a lot longer than our system, of course. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you, Jen. We'll get to that next, which is a Reach H2, H3. Yeah. So this is currently a project, another FEMA project. Uh, you know, this is right in our high impact Ida zone. Uh, so in another island levee, right? I mean, mm -hmm. this is a cross by your little caillou uh, that you see going down 56. So we're barging in material here. I mean, if you, if if anybody rides down the Cocodrie lately, you can see the mound of dirt that's oh, yeah. on the side of the road. It, it is huge. Uh, that we're moving, you know, a couple of times to get on that levee. So uh, they've made tremendous progress with that. Uh, we're also working on uh, the first first project is to go to 13 feet. The second project we're coming back with will get that levee to 15 feet. So um, we're going to, you know, use the material left in the borrow canal. So okay. it, won't be, uh, it won't be hauled in or barged in. It should be a much cheaper option for us. And we kind of, we put everything on the table when we're trying to get these things accomplished, you know. Well, and you bring up a really good point. Having to be able to fill in what we call an island are those areas and fill in where there's water it is so much more difficult because we've got to create land sure right and yeah. if you can do that with your own with you can do that with your own mud and dirt that you're pulling out somewhere else or dredging somewhere else again it's just really smart yep and save some money yep as we do that and move forward uh and so that's that levy repair as well yeah right uh this slide just shows the money you know the fema uh money on top and then uh the design of of the 15 foot, uh, as I stated before, you can go on yeah. to the next slide. And again, just the, the beauty of seeing plus 13 and plus 15. Yeah. I, I just, you know, it's just, right. it's up there, but there, there's certainly a beauty in sure. how that's happening and, and the fact that it's going to happen. Yeah. You know, maybe we're like going we to do it. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Go yeah. ahead, Mitch. Yeah, so this is Reach Eye. Uh, we're currently uh, working with one of our local uh, engineers, T. Baker Smith, uh, to lift this one to 15 feet as well. This goes from Bush Canal floodgate all the way to the Humble Canal floodgate. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, caught a substantial amount of levee. Right. Uh, a few years ago, the levee district was able to lift this to about 13 feet. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're going to attempt to do another lift. And, you know, this is 
this is, we've always concentrated on this eastern end of the parish uh, because it's where we traditionally have had problems and storm surge. So, right. um, you know, one of the more important areas to make sure we can get up to 15. Yeah, and again, when we have a storm coming in, that's typically where the storm surge is yep. for that. Where when we get hit, that's where storm surge is coming right. from. Absolutely. Uh, and, and again, protecting all those people uh, over in Chauvet, you know, where for years they, they were told, you know, why would you live down here? You know, it's not protected. Right. You know, it's not part of the protection. It would have been nice to do this 10 years earlier, but yeah, you, can't, you can't look back and say, no, that, you know, you no. stopped a lot of people from moving to town and moving elsewhere. Well, but you know what? We, we allowed a lot of people to be able to stay where they want yeah, to stay. Right. And that's the, the thing sure. is, is it makes it home for people and sure. those kinds of things. Very good. All right. We'll move on to that one. Okay. Yeah. You can go to the next, next slide. slide. Yeah. I think, you know, as we start to wind down here, uh, I think it'd be prudent to talk about some of the things that the core is doing. Uh, one is right now we're going to replace the Hummel Canal floodgate. The Corps is going to do that. Oh, wow. And they're currently doing a, uh, a preparatory contract and loading the soil in that area. That started probably about four months ago. Okay. Uh, that project's going well, but that's actually the first federal dollars spent on the Morgan's alignment. Uh, in addition to that, they're currently designing the lift of all of J2, uh, which the, the history of J2 for us is is a painful one. We've worked on it for a long time to get it to 12 and a half feet. Uh, and so we're happy to have them come in and lift that levee too. Uh, eventually that levee will be over 20 feet. So oh, wow. uh, yeah. from the core. So just give you an idea of the type of protection we're headed towards. I think Tony just said it, you know, 15 won't be enough when we get to 15. Right, you know? right. We know we gotta keep going. And right. Mitch, just to, just to throw this out there, I tell you what the core right now, Keith, is, is really, Phenomenal. I mean, they're really working very hard to move things along, unlike we've seen in the past. Right. And this colonel, you know, my hat's off to Colonel Jones and Lacey and Mr. Wingate. I mean, they, they are really stepping up and making things happen at a pretty rapid pace, as well as others there. And uh, call a spade a spade. Right? Yeah, well, and, you know, I, this is the third time I've mentioned, I've heard that mentioned of him, yeah. that he, when he said, let's go, we're moving. Yeah, and and he's a yeah. kind of a no nonsense guy. He's doing right. It. Yeah. What are we doing? What's next? Right. What are we doing right now? What's next? So uh, getting yeah, those. He, those he told me something that I'll remember. Uh, he said my job is to cut ribbons and as many as possible in my time here in New Orleans, and that that really stuck to me. Uh, yeah. And uh, and and he's certainly held his word on that. I mean, in trying to move these things along quickly. Right. And again, it's one of those things that we, we realize is that, you know, when you're dealing with a government entity like that, you know, we, we just kind of expect that it'll go slowly, you know, or it may not move as quickly as we thought. Right. A lot of red tape. He's cutting the red tape so that he can cut the red ribbon. Yeah, that's right. right. That's, that's exactly right. right. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Very good. Is there anything else we want to finish up well, with the slides? I, I don't know. Uh, two, two big things. We mentioned the lot complex, but obviously... Uh, there are two large floodgates on the intercoastal canal on either side of this uh, system that need to be constructed. Okay. And, uh, and the Corps is working on uh, issuing design packages to build those floodgates. So uh, we, I spent the entire week uh, in New Orleans last week uh, at a design meeting and, uh, and really was impressed with the collaboration moving that forward. So uh, I know a lot of these things we didn't think we would see happen. It's crazy that some of them are coming to fruition. And again, it's one of those things where that takes so, I don't know that people realize that to put a floodgate in, to build a levee, to move it from 13 to 15, how much work that takes in design yeah. to make sure that that's sure. gonna stay, right? Well, and the, the energy and effort and discussions that go into that. It's right? unbelievable right. how many things. Right. Yeah. Go into that Pipe, <laughs> pipelines, yeah. navigation, community right. things right. that you don't think yeah. about until right. you get into it. Yeah, you know? protecting the waterways and the yeah. estuaries and all those things that go yeah. in and around that, and how to protect all of those things. We got a bit of a minute left. Tony, kind of close us out. Well, and just some thoughts. Was just uh, we, you know, um, we're fixing to be under construction along Miners Canal uh, or, or along Miners Canal, right off Miners Canal. You know, the Corps handling that all the way to the intercoastal. We've got that construction fixing to take place, about four and a half miles there, as well as uh, connecting to Lafouche levee system. We've got a contract is is underway now. And so they're doing Moving. construction all the way out to Grand Bayou and uh, 
that's really the two areas that haven't been under construction and under construction or wow. moving forward. Wow. And so we just about have this thing underway at every part of this project. Too. And, right and bringing so. it from 13 to 15 everywhere. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mitch, Angela, Tony, cannot thank you enough for coming on and really sharing with the public all of the great news yeah. about all of the hard work that's really co truly coming to fruition yeah. and as the levees are getting higher. That's very nice. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. We appreciate you. it. Appreciate being here. Thank All you. right. And that will do it for this particular segment of Going Public. Don't go anywhere. A whole lot more right here on HTV.